This is Ubiquiti's latest Wi-Fi 7 outdoor access point, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at it and put it to the test to see how well it works. Hey everyone, my name is Monty, and welcome to Inside Wire. Just before we jump into the unboxing, let me give you a few specifications. It has four spatial streams, it covers up to 465 square meters, it can have 200 plus devices connected to it at once, the uplink on it is two and a half gigabytes, and Inside, there are some internal and external antennas. So let's take a look. If we go ahead and open up the box and pull out the access point. And here we go, this is the first look. And just holding this at this point, it is fairly heavy. So it's not the lightest access point. I have the U7 Pro Max here, and this is probably about half the weight than what this is. So it's quite heavy in terms of weight. We have the external antennas to give you the coverage that you need. And we'll talk about the direction of this shortly. Speaking of the direction, we have a card in here, which shows you the direction. Again, we have mounting options. So we have a few different mounting options and we have the back plate that goes onto the unit. And again, we'll check this out in just a moment. We have a couple of pole mounts within and we have some screws depending on how you were looking to set this up. So first let's open this up and see what the access point is like inside. On the front of it, this is plastic, but on the back, it is made of aluminium. The heat does get dispersed from here. Looking at the top of the access points, we have two antenna slots just here. So if you wanna plug in the external antennas, we'll test this shortly to see if it makes any difference with any speeds and throughput when we take this outside. And at the bottom is where we plug in the access point. So we can take this off and this off. If you want to use this rubber grommet to seal your cable and pop this in, you can do. And we also have this as well. So we can go ahead and pop that in. And then that also seals your cable within here as well and makes it fully outdoor weather resistant. In terms of the weather resistance on this, it's IPX6 rated, which means it can hit high pressured water from any angle and it won't go through. Now, Let's go ahead and get this powered up and then we'll have a look at some of the options available within the Unify console. The final thing I will say before we jump in is this does not have a six gigahertz banding in there at the moment. It has 2.4 and five gigahertz, which are both two by two MIMO. And there we go, that's now powering up. We have the white light that's on the front just here. So let's take a look. Let's jump now into the settings of the access point. So I probably don't need to show you how to adopt a Wi-Fi access point. I've done that in so many videos, so you can have a look through some other ones if you wish to do so. But this is the U7 Outdoor. So we have the new analyzer and packet capture that has been added into the latest network updates. So I have done videos on those if you wanna see them. Have a look at my playlists on my channel, you'll be able to find them on there. So the first thing we're greeted with is the TX retries, so we can have a look at those to see how well each spectrum is performing. And we have all the access point details a little bit further down, so that's all there as well. We have the insights, we have the channel usage, which shows you the utilization of each banding. Again, you can use this as a guide as to what channel to use. And we have down the bottom the scans as well, the environmental scans. Uh, so you can go ahead and use the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and it will scan the various areas and tell you what sort of channels are going to be best for you. Jumping into the settings, we have the main thing that's going to be right here, which is we have the outdoor mode. So you want to make sure that's ticked when you're putting that outside to ensure it complies with your regulations in your local country. And then we have the two different antenna types. So we have the built-in antenna and the omnidirectional antenna. So depending on what we're setting up, so initially we're gonna start with a built-in antenna with our video. I've also set the channel width to 40, medium and channel 11, and the five gigahertz to 80, channel 153, and again, medium. So, and turned off meshing, just to give us a sort of rough idea with a bit of tuning on these access points, what kind of throughput and signal strength are we getting? Here is the bracket for the U7 outdoor. Now we have this little bracket on the front just here, which screws in with these two screws and there's a bracket on the back, which goes into either the wall or wood, wherever you're mounting it to. Now to get this put on, you can feed the cable in so you can get it plugged into the back of there. There is one more weather seal you want to add on here. I can't do this because I don't have the hands available at the moment, but you can go ahead and pop that network cable straight into there and it clips straight on. You can see right back here that this sits on and then we can clip it down straight in and that is now not gonna go anywhere. You can see the white light flashing on here, which should go blue in a few minutes. 
as we have already adopted this into our system. And just for completeness, you can see that is now blue as well. For testing out here, we don't have the antennas on at the moment. And if we show you where we're gonna be testing to, we have a long area down here. So going down to the back down here is probably gonna be about 40 meters away, probably approximately. So we'll go down to the back down here and we'll go off down the side and see if we can get some signal down there. We'll be using the Wi-Fi man further down here to test the signal strength to see what we're getting. The Wi-Fi 7 access point is here set up and we have Wi-Fi man set up on our phone as well. That should be popping up on your screen. And we're using the five gigahertz spectrum at the moment using Wi-Fi 6. So we're about minus 55 dB at the moment. And if we check the throughput standing right here, I'm getting around about five to 600 around about 500 megabits per second throughput. So that's me standing probably about two meters away from the access point. So I'm gonna show you where we're gonna be walking. So we were walking a little bit further down there towards the bottom, near towards the house. We're probably looking at about 30 to 40 meters away. So let's turn back around. So let's go ahead and change to the signal strength and we'll keep walking down the driveway to see what happens with the signal. So already it's dropping down to minus 52, minus 65. And if we keep walking away, we're still good at the moment, still on the five gigahertz band. And there we start dropping to a good signal now. So minus 66 dB, minus 68. So if we just stand right here one second, and we test again the throughput from here, we're still getting about 360 megabits per second, which is still relatively good. I'm probably about 15 meters-ish away maybe a little bit further than that at the moment. So let's keep going with the signal strength. And we're going to the other side of the road now. And this is where it starts dropping. So do keep in mind, we aren't using the antennas at the moment. So this is a direct line of sight here. And we're looking at about minus 75 dB. So minus 68 has just dropped to. So let's check the throughput from here. And again, we're still getting relatively good speeds. We're looking at around about 250 megabits per second. So I'm going to quickly walk a bit further down, which is slightly out of line of sight. So there'll be a house in the way as we walk through. So let's take a look at the signal strength as we continue. And that's when we drop to poor. So I've literally just moved out of the line of sight. So it's the access point is literally just behind this wall here and we've dropped the signal. So that's where the directional antennas within are shooting out over 45 degrees. Let's go ahead now and put on the antennas on the front of them and see if that makes any difference with the signal or how that looks. Let's go ahead and change this now and we take these little rubber back grommets off the top and we can go ahead and pop these on. So we'll screw this in. There you go, that's now screwed in. So we'll screw in the second antenna and we'll now go ahead and give this a test. So the first things first, we need to change some settings on the access point itself. So let's have a quick look at that. Changing the antenna type, you go into the Wi-Fi access point, you click on the settings and you can go ahead and choose the Omni antenna once you've fitted the two antennas on top and you're ready to go. We'll let that reprovision and then we can go ahead and continue with our tests. Now the antennas are fitted, let's go and test out the signal strength to see what we are. So we're standing right next to the access point and we're at about minus 56 dB, minus 60. And the throughput is giving us something similar. So around 400, 400 to 450 megabits per second throughput. So let's keep walking down the driveway again. I'm probably barely about seven to eight meters away and already that's gone to a good signal. So. Let's keep walking. And I am now at the end of my drive. So you can see we're down there. That's where the Wi-Fi access point is, just right there. And we are now getting around minus 73 dB, which if we check the throughput, is still giving me around 240, 230 megabits per second in terms of throughput. Previously, we managed to get to the other side of the road. So let's give that a go now and see how far we can get. So we're still at minus 75, getting poor, and standing at the other side of the road, you can see that's now disappeared and we've lost signal. So whereas where I was here previously with the directional antenna, I was still getting a relatively good signal, but with the omnidirectional ones, it's more for covering the area around rather than sending your signal directionally. Being stood here while talking to you, it has reconnected using 2.4 gigahertz. And with that, it's dropping in and out in terms of signal strength, as you can see. But if we check the throughput, whatever we do get, 
it is very minimal. You can see one to two megabits and it's dropped out again. So if you're looking for something that's gonna give you signal directionally, then you will get it a lot further than you will with the omnidirectional antennas. So if you have a long directional path that you wanna send your signal all the way down, then maybe the directional option is the one for you. However, if you wanna use something in an omnidirectional style, you could possibly set up in this sort of style. So generally I would probably mount it just up here where this camera is. And then if we look down here, we have two sides which are quite wide. So you go to either side and that is probably about 10 meters ish either side of this point right here. So you get omnidirectional cover all the way around the garden rather than it being directional. This is one thing I find really useful with the U7 Pro Outdoor is you have both different scenarios built inside the box. You don't have to have different purchase different antennas or you need to buy another accessory. It's all in there. Whether you're looking for a directional radio pattern or a omnidirectional pattern, you have both options. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Have you deployed a U7 outdoor? Is this something that you would deploy or something that you think that's not really required where you are? For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.